Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. All right. So you're a host. You're a writer in the land of the rich and famous. So I first became acquainted with you as one of the stars of Pretty Wicked. You have your fair share of experience in reality television. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, it was there. <laughs> unfortunately, I'm about to ask about your experience. Tell us a little bit about what that was like. That was, um, I, I mean, you live and you learn, and that's really all I can say about it. <laughs> It was hard to watch because they had edited so much, and I tried to leave the first day, which I'm allowed to say now, and they wouldn't let me. <laughs> but, you know, you live and you learn, and I made some really good friends there, so that's what was awesome about it, I would say. Negative or positive? You would say negative? I would say it was just a learning experience. All right. Well said. <laughs> So you're with Hollywire. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing now. Yeah, I'm an entertainment host, writer, and producer for Hollywire.com. I write content for the site. I edit the site. The tone of the site is basically primarily mine. I, I basically edit people's stories, produce original content, set up shoots, host red carpet events, and I do the same thing for Radar Online as well. Very nice. So I thought it would be fun to invite you on to almost kind of co-host this interview with you rather than badgering you with questions about your personal life. Yeah, that would so, be fun. Let's talk about pop culture. You caught the MTV Video Music Awards? I did, of course. All right, let's do it. The Lady Gaga meat dress. What do you think? Is she going too far? Uh, is she borderline? What are your thoughts? You know what? In my mind, Lady Gaga is her own entity. and In my mind, she can do no wrong. I think she's fabulous in every way and anything she wants to rock she can rock it because you know it's her own fashion sense she's kind of created her own genre of clothing in my opinion i don't know what do you think i think it's definitely innovative but i'm curious about like just the political aspect and you know Peta is throwing a fit about things like this yeah i know but at the same time it's lady gaga and i think you can excuse her because you know she's going to be wacky and she's going to try and push the envelope so accusing her and going that way with it i think it's almost exactly what she wants yeah, yeah. All right, fashion face-off. Uh, she was on the stage next to Cher. Who do you think took it? Uh, Cher always wins. It has to be Cher just because she's been around longer. I think you got to go with seniority. What do you think? I would say Cher, too. It is she. She's like 100 and yeah. looks absolutely Her body amazing. Was banging, huh? Yeah, I really thought so. All right, let's talk about Lindsay Lohan. She poked fun of herself, you know, the being the drunk thing. And um, do you think this is negative for her career? You know, Chelsea said kind of like a forgiving line where it's like, you got your life together, so maybe I can too. But do you think that overall this will be negative for Lohan's career? Well, I think, did you hear about the news today? That's the, she failed a drug test, right? Yes, she did. And, you know, it's amidst rumors that she was going to do Saturday Night Live. So I thought the whole comedy thing and then her announcing possibly that she was going to do Saturday Night Live, I thought that was okay. But then now that she was making fun of it, now she's failed a drug test. And now I think it can be negative. You think so? I haven't stopped loving her. I think there's always a soft spot in everyone's heart for Lohan. And I thought at the time that was my favorite part of the show was her. I thought she stole that moment. Yeah. But after today, I'm a little bit concerned just because of the news that broke today. I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed that she's failing this drug test after... Because she, she did look really healthy, right? For the VMAs, you agree? I, I do agree. I thought she looked great. I thought, uh, I, I, you know, I, her hair was a little eh. But overall, I thought she did a good job. She was funny. I think it's endearing when you can poke fun of yourself. Yeah, she definitely did do her hair herself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but um, she was funny. She was charming. Yeah, no, I liked her too. Kanye West, Taylor Swift. Let's move on with that one. Who won that battle the night of the VMAs? You know, I. That's a that's a hard call. I really wanted them to do something together to kind of say, look, we're putting this behind us. I thought that her song was like almost saying. I'm not ready. I'm still not over it yet. It was kind of like a childish move, I thought. And so I was ready to give it to Kanye until I saw his performance, and I just thought it was just bad. It just sounded bad. But, that, you know, I think he's doing that on purpose at the same time, so I'm going to give it to Kanye. Really? I, don't, I thought it was a little bit self-indulgent on Kanye, but of course, it's look who we're dealing with. Yeah, and I, I think... I don't know. I, I think I need to give it to Kanye just because Taylor Swift, we're tired of this whole innocent act with you and the fact that you couldn't forgive him and just make fun of the situation with him. I don't know. I thought she was a little too dramatic. She didn't really thank her fans after her performance. Yeah. She didn't even smile. She just kind of put her head down and walked off stage. I don't know. Yeah, I agree it was a little childish, the Taylor Swift thing, but she is a child. So, I don't know. I just I kind of lean in that direction. I mean, she's a child, but she's also dated some, some not children, such as John Mayer. Oh, so, that's true. I mean, if you're going to play with the big boys, you got to act like one. There <laughs> you go. All right. Jennifer Lopez signs on to be the new American Idol judge for $12 million. I'm curious who wouldn't do it. But do you think that she would be... You know, when, when I found out, I was like, well, she's not really that good of a singer. But Paula Abdul was amazing on this show. What do you think? I don't know. You know, I think that Jennifer Lopez is... 
is done. I'm I'm kind of over her. I'm a little bit disappointed in that decision. I was hoping for someone, just somebody, even like a former, like a Kelly Clarkson would have been awesome, I think. Someone like Christina Aguilera, just because she's having career problems, maybe that could have helped. I don't know, Jennifer Lopez, when it was first announced, the rumor, I, I felt like it was a very negative feeling. And then mm. all those rumors about her being a diva, it was just very... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not so excited about it, to be honest. I felt like it was bigger breaking news when we heard that Ellen was going to join the cast. Yes, I completely yeah. agree. Completely. All right, let's move on to Chris Brown. This douchebag's mother tweeted, you know, that Michael Jackson died so Chris Brown could live. What are your thoughts on this one? You know, I'm t- can Chris Brown just go away? <laughs> I agree. I, I feel really, he has this new song, Deuces Out. And of course, like I work in radio and it's getting a lot of play and it's a little disappointing because I'm not going to forget he beat the crap out of Rihanna, but the song is infectious. So I'm, I mean, I can understand people liking it, but I don't see how people have. I just, I'm not ready to forgive him yet. I yeah. think that's something that, I mean, he can't hit a girl and that's the bottom line in my opinion. And I, I don't really respect all these people that are. I don't know. I'm just pushing needs to go away for longer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So speaking of people that have gone away, let's move on to Conan. Are you Team Coco? Are you excited for the return? I am beyond ecstatic for the return of Conan O'Brien. I think he is hilarious. Do you follow him on Twitter? I do. I do. He's the person to follow. Yes. His <laughs> tweets, every single one of them, I chuckle a little bit. I think yeah. he's funny and I just, I'm so excited about it. I can't wait. Are you watching Leno? My parents watched Leno. I've never really gotten into him. Mm. I think it's more, I think it's our generation prefers Conan, whereas the older generation probably prefers Leno and Letterman. I mean, that could be yeah. completely off base, but personally, I haven't really been following Leno. Have you? Uh, I would agree with the parents watching Leno. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So one last one. This one might get you in a little bit of trouble because you retweeted this one from uh, Lord Voldemort. It says, Twilight is better than Harry Potter. Really means I can only read at a third grade level. <laughs> so the Twihards are going to give you a hard time right now. I'm not kidding. Are, are you Are you a Twihard or not? Okay. I love <laughs> Twilight. I really do. Uh-huh. I, I've seen all the movies. I haven't read the final book yet. I've read all the other books. Mm-hmm. And um, it was I guess just... I love Harry Potter. Yeah. I do. I do. I'm a nerd. <laughs> All right, all right. So let's take care of these. Uh, what's your signature cocktail? My signature cocktail? Mm-hmm. Probably a glass of Chardonnay. All right. Let's talk about the music on your iPod. Give us a few. What are you listening to? Oh, my gosh. Neon Trees right now. Uh-huh. They are just killing it. I interviewed them uh, in New York last week. Yeah. They are my absolute favorite. I know you interviewed Dragonette, and I'm a huge fan of theirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always got to go with Paramore, Haley Williams. Uh-huh. She's amazing. Whenever I hear Passion Pit, you really cross love, my mind, honestly. I love, I love Passion Pit. Have you actually, have you heard of Mute Math? No, I haven't. Mute Math is pretty awesome. Igloo and Hartley, Mike Posner. I always love Tegan and Sarah. And Megan Dia. Have you heard of Megan Dia? No, but we're going to have to check them out in Mute Mask, you said. You, you are, because I, I kind of like that whole, the more like indie music. Yeah, yeah. Ink is my thing. Okay. So. Before we wrap things up, um, you were just at New York Fashion Week. I saw you tweeting away your life about the Monique Lillier show. Oh my gosh, I died. <laughs> Tell us everything. No, okay. New York Fashion Week was amazing. My favorite show, production wise, Betsy Johnson. Mm-hmm. But my favorite collection was Monique Lillier. Yeah. It was just every girl's dream if you're a girly girl. It was very, um, I don't know, it was elegant and sweet. And I just, I don't know. I loved it. I feel like girly is going to be huge this fall. What do you say for the fall fashion trend that you're going to stick on to? Yeah. I think there's going to be girly, but I also think that that whole military trend is mm-hmm. is here for a while. I think those combat boots and that kind of olive green color, yeah. I think those are going to be big. But yes, girly's always in style. I've been reading a lot about gold. Did you see any gold on the runways of New York? Yes, I did. I saw a lot of gold and I saw a lot of off-white and cream as well. Some designers, they used absolutely no black at all. So I think black is, is gone for a little bit. Done and done. We're going to have to find a new black. Yes. <laughs> we're going to say that Combat Green is the new black right now. <laughs> there we go. What are your websites before we wrap this up? You're on Twitter, Facebook, you're on everything. Yeah, I like Twitter. Twitter is my, Twitter's my love, my uh-huh. true love. <laughs> and you're at twitter.com slash Katie underscore Krause, right? Yes, that is correct. And it's uh, hollywire.com, we said. Yes, hollywire.com and Radar Online, too. RadarOnline.com? Yes. Katie, you're always lovely. Oh, Joey, I love you. I love you so much. You have no idea. I was going to set up some music for us to dance, but I'm telling you, I was trying to kick everybody out of here because you were calling, so I didn't get to it. We're going to have to dance off next time.
Yeah, let's do it. Thank you, swear. <laughs> Have a good one, Katie. Love you so much. All right. Love you. Have bye. a good afternoon. You too. Okay, bye. Bye.